has blamed themselves and the media for the string of mass shootings by admitting that it creates hype to basically promote it. I don't think you can blame the mainstream media because actually mass shootings are flat. But uh, the weird events we see with the pill head, video game head, uh, goth kids killing people, that is actually up. And that is a copycat type deal because the idea is being put out there of this is something you can do if you're depressed and upset. Just like death education, even ABC News has admitted in studies, uh, caused suicide to increase in public schools. Because you start teaching people how to commit suicide, I never thought about it when they're 11, 12 years old, some of them are going to go do it. It's real simple. Uh, I want to give the number out and take your phone calls on any issue you wish to discuss. From the situation in Iraq with the Al-Qaeda forces being turned loose by the globalists uh, to all the announcements that terrorists are going to hit us any minutes. We better give all our, our rights up when the terrorists again have been empowered by our own government. I mean, just uh, it's so crazy. While they arrest people that are trying to go join ISIS in the U.S., saying they're trying to give material support to terrorists, they're arresting people in Austin. We reported that yesterday. They're trying to join ISIS, but then the government's openly arming them. That's the type of weird, Neverland, oxymoron, down the rabbit hole, Tea Party weirdness. And I don't mean the liberty-based Tea Party, I mean the Tea Party from Alice in Wonderland. Speaking of uh, mainstream media being in trouble because they won't report on the real news, there was a Gallup poll out yesterday that literally showed that Congress has a 7% approval rating that's less popular than dog manure. That's actually a statistic. Steve Watson has it in his article at Infowars.com. Gallup poll shows confidence in TV news at all-time low. The previous low was 2012, where a combined 21% said they had great deal or quite a lot of confidence in television news. In 2013, it was 23%. Uh, now it's uh, dropped to 18%. And let me tell you, those are some really gullible people. And, and, and that's what they say, uh, a lot of advertising, I don't do this, but I have people that do do it. They say there's about 20% that you can sell anything to. You could sell snow cones to Eskimos without any syrup on top, any cherry syrup on top. Even though they have plenty of ice, you, you could sell it to them, 20%. Uh, and uh, that's the people that the con artists feed on. And I, I mean, a con artist can go in a room, just like a magician can go in a room and pick the suggestible people and then basically get them to do whatever they want. And we've all had people in our families preyed upon by that. And it, it's one of my biggest pet peeves uh, is watching really good people that I love in my family and extended family fed on by con artists. And that's probably the group that I hate the most. And, and I've been psychoanalyzing why I am so racked with guilt and am so privately neurotic and get so angry if people by mistake around here or myself do something that's unethical. That's why I get so upset. I've never been an uptight, guilty person. I've just been I try to be an upstanding person. Is that I so dislike con artists and scammers and frauds that I don't want to look at the mirror and ever see that. Because my identity is about being honorable and good. Doesn't mean that I'm a perfect person. And I know I keep going back to this, but my, the change in me to try to be even better is the change in you. It's all of us in a process. People are either getting better and waking up and becoming more connected, less separated from each other, more empathetic or they're becoming less empathetic, less connected. I know I'm stating incredibly simple things here, but I was talking to a friend this morning about how 
his son and daughter-in-law come to see him. And just a few years ago, they'd come to town a few times a year. And they would, you know, this guy's a lot older than me. They would talk to him at dinner and his wife. They would talk to him. And they would have a discussion and they would really connect. And now he and his wife sit there on their phones and click and text and, and, and that he doesn't have a relationship basically with his son anymore. And that we're losing our humanity to these smartphones and the computers and all the rest of it. And it's one thing if you use it as a tool to reach out and a tool to connect. That's what the show's all about. But still the medium itself is dangerous, is about being real, about being complex, about being three, four dimensional, five dimensional, not one dimensional. But people are so one dimensional now where they're not even there. And they will only go find people that validate them in their delusion. And I don't want this radio show to be like a niche radio broadcast where I sit here and I validate the liberty movement. We need to look at ourselves as well. But this is really how we're going to turn civilization around is the police not just validating each other, but really looking in the mirror. And saying, when you check out of here, as Gerald Salente always says, what did you stand for? And don't you want to pay it forward for your children and their children and other children? I mean, isn't that really what matters? Isn't winning, being honorable, being good, loving beautiful things, helping beautiful people, helping innocent people, helping good people? When I say beautiful, I mean beautiful-hearted people. And being part of this great journey that's an unbroken chain to our species since its beginning. There's a great kinsmanship and a spiritual connection to the ancestors that all primitive peoples have known. That is a great form of solace, even alone in a dungeon. When you're doing the right thing, you're there with all your kin. The old Norse saying, cattle die. Kinsmen die and cattle die, but I know there's one thing that never dies. It's the fame of a dead man's deed. But it's not the fame that you were great or the fame that you could lift a big rock. The greater fame was that you were honorable. We have become a dishonored people. We've dishonored our young. Imagine if wasp started killing their pupa, killing their uh, larva, and saying these aren't wasp, you would say that's a species destroying itself. So what is an elite that programs us to destroy ourselves? They've decided we're ugly and failed and bad. And by making that decision with them governing our civilization, that will then default, ensure that that happens instead of struggling to be great and good, which in that struggle, we reach for the stars and we will not attain them, but our progeny will. So I take your calls, toll free number 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. There are agents of deception amongst us everywhere who seek to hurt the innocent. And the, the animating contest is now here. And don't miss the train. Don't be a spectator. Because being a spectator means you lose your soul. It means you lose choosing your destiny. Being the captain of your soul, as it's been said. I read a poem last week about that. And the captain isn't in control of everything, but is making the decisions in their heart and in their mind, which is the only decision that ever matters. Because it is about your development on this planet. This is a test. And biologically, we live forever as long as the planet and the, and the species isn't destroyed. And it is like the allegory of... Something like the new film, Edge of Tomorrow, that we are our ancestors, not reincarnated, but our genetic ancestors and the race memories and all of it 
combined with other humans trying to get it right to go to the next level. And that's God's beautiful plan of nanotech, that we are universal, living, conscious creatures, like a composite eye of God, giving God that created the universe and is the universe a view from our perspective into the world. But independent from God at the same time. A shadow of the creator, but still creators in our own right. And you have the evil ones that like ring wraiths serve the ring and the dark force at the core of it. Then you have those of us that attempt and some attain the capability by the grace of the creator to then not become slaves, but to become closer in the orbit to what it is to be good. So you will descend or you will ascend. There is no stagnant. There is no set point in life or business.